Transesophageal echocardiography is very useful to evaluate mitral stenosis. Indeed, this is indicated in situations where transthoracic images are difficult to obtain and under intraoperative monitoring and above all is mandatory in patients considered for percutaneous mitral commissurotomy. And in this case, it's important to evaluate mitral valve morphology, the presence of left atrial appendage thrombosis, mitral stenosis severity, the severity of concomitant mitral regurgitation, and finally, the interatrial septal morphology. This is a case of patients with rheumatic mitral stenosis. With 2D transesophageal echocardiography, we can evaluate the morphology of the valve, leaflet edges, fusion of the commissures, calcific deposits, and the presence of specific signs such as diastolic dooming of anterior mitral leaflets. Furthermore, we can estimate the mitral valve area performing pressure half time and we can calculate the mean pressure gradient. With 3D transesophageal echocardiography, it is possible to evaluate the morphology of the valve and all characteristics of mitral stenosis. And with 3D, it's possible to calculate the planimetry of the mitral stenosis area.